Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Heidi from My Reading Life and I'm here today to film a very, very exciting announcement video. Um, so this video is to announce that I will be co-hosting the Book Naturalist Book Club in 2021 with our friend Doris from Aldi Books. It's going to be fabulous. Um, this is a book club where we'll be reading one book a month throughout the year 2021 and each of the books will be nature related in some way. Um, so it's just an opportunity for us to read more nature related writing, um, which you know that I love and Doris loves, and to discuss it and to hopefully pick books that somehow are intersectional, that um, focus on nature from differing perspectives, from marginalized voices, um, and that fit in with other types of reading themes that we're doing during the year, and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be fabulous. I promise you, it's going to be. <laughs> um, so we are attempting to organize this book club using a multiple using multiple different social media platforms in an effort to be as in, as inclusive as we can um, because some folks you know prefer using different uh, platforms so we're going to be using uh, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube as our three main ways to communicate with each other um, and let's talk about uh, let's talk about first how we're going to organize um, the first third of the year. So for the first four months of the year, we're going to be focusing on nature books that are published by Milkweed Editions. Now, you guys remember that in November, I read This Beauty. This is Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kimmerer. This was published by Milkweed. Um, and there's their logo right there. And they just publish beautiful, beautiful books. Um, they publish a lot of nonfiction about nature. They publish poetry. They publish fiction. They publish a lot of things. In these first four months of 2021, in our Book Naturalist book club, we're going to focus on reading nonfiction books. So let's just talk about the books. Now, unlike Doris, I don't have um, the actual physical copies yet of these books. Um, so I'll just pop a picture up here so you can see the covers as I talk about them. Um, the first book that we're going to read in January is a book called World of Wonders by Amy Nazukmatil. Um, and I'm, I apologize if I mispronounced that. I did listen to her pronounce her own name, but I'm garbage at pronunciation. Um, so World of Wonders is our first book, and this is a collection of essays, um, and it's subtitled, and I'm looking down at my notes because I don't want to uh, misquote anything. So this essay collection is subtitled, In Praise of Fireflies, Whale Sharks, and Other Astonishments. Um, and the author is uh, uh, comes from a couple of different heritages. Her mom is Filipina and her dad is Indian. She grew up in the United States, but she comes from those... Um, cultures and backgrounds and so they inform her writing. She is a poet as well so her writing will probably be very lyrical. I'm looking forward to discovering it uh, when we read the books. This book is also illustrated by Fumi Nakamura um, and so we're bound to have some beautiful illustrations to go along with beautiful writing. Uh, so this is a chance to get inspired right at the beginning of the year by the natural world and hopefully carry that inspiration throughout 2021. Then in February, we're going to be reading The Home Place by J. Drew Lanahan. Um, and this is a memoir um, about a black man's uh, connection to the land. And so this fits perfectly in February, which is also Black History Month in the United States. So it'll help us, you know, get some nature writing in and also uh, read a little bit from an African-American perspective. This is a memoir about love, land, identity, and race, and it takes place in the rural south of the United States. So very much looking forward to this one. Um, I've had this one actually on my wish list for quite a while, so I'm excited for the book club to get give me the push uh, I needed to actually finally get to this one. And then in March, which is Doris's birthday month, we must read a book again that's set in the South. Um, and this time we're going to be reading Ecology of a Cracker Childhood by Janesse Ray. And this uh, memoir is all about growing up poor in the rural South, in Florida um, especially. And it will, it supposedly will detail how that the author found hope in nature. Um, and it is also a call to action to protect some of our natural places and our wild places in the United States, which we so often um, run the risk of losing in today's modern society. 
And then in April, um, in connection with hashtag Aussie April, we're going to be reading Island Home by Tim Witten. This is another memoir and it's, it's kind of, um, I think it's identified as a landscape memoir and it really delves into the unique aspects of the natural environment in Australia. So I'm super excited about that one. Um, you may remember that in November I read uh, Bill Bryson's travel memoir about Australia um, and that one left me just wanting to read more about about the natural environment in Australia. So I'm really excited to read this Tim Winton book. I also had read a novel by Tim Winton earlier this year um, that I very much enjoyed. So I'm looking forward to a chance to uh, get back to some of his writing and read more about it. Um, and I meant to mention for each of those books in the first four months, uh, we'll be discussing the book on a different platform. There'll be other ways to uh, interact uh, on different various social media platforms throughout the month where we'll have discussions about um, topics having to do with nature and nature writing, but we'll also specifically have a discussion about each of these books. So in January with uh, World of Wonders, we're going to be utilizing Instagram. And then in February for uh, The Home Place, we're going to be utilizing Twitter. And in March for Ecology of a Cracker Childhood, we're going to be uh, utilizing YouTube vlogs. And then in April for um, Island Home, we are going to try to do a YouTube live. So uh, you'll have to be patient with me as I um, work my way through some of this technology that is a little bit less familiar to me than simply filming myself and posting it on YouTube. Um, but I think it's going to be really fun. Um, so. I think it's this book, top, book club is going to give us an opportunity to just explore different ways to communicate on social media as well as exploring different topics in the, uh, in the natural world, which is, is really a lot of fun. So we're going to announce future reads as the year progresses. Um, there'll be opportunity for interaction with each of you as you participate with us. I think we're going to be having some voting in uh, months in the in the end of the year where uh, you'll help us pick the books that we're going to read for the book club um we hope that you'll be enticed to join us as we go through this journey through uh 2021 um i think it's going to be a great way to discover some new authors um some new presses some new uh books that we've never heard of before and also get excited about the outdoors about the environment about things people are doing to protect our natural world so uh, I will link all the information down below for this book club. I will link uh, Doris's announcement video, which she has even more details about how the book club is going to work. I will link, uh, I, will I will provide the information for our um, book naturalist accounts on Instagram and Twitter down below in the description box. And I will also uh, write down the titles for the books for the first four months so that you can easily Use those to uh, look them up online and hopefully get your own copies of the books and join us for these reads as we start 2021. I really look forward to reading these books together and discussing them with you. Um, I hope that you will join us and uh, I look forward to our future nature-loving conversations.